Hey guys, what's up, Mustang? It's Pooh Guy, and welcome back to Forza Horizon 3 and our Sun Horse build. No, we are not using the Regalia again. We are using the Auction House. So we're gonna search, go 16 cars, and whichever one I get, I have to build, unless it's too high or we've already run it before. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Well, I couldn't get that anyway, and I wouldn't buy it, because it's 1.7 million. So, this is a 16th car. Okay, I won't use that. Oh, dear. We're using the 166M. I'm not buying that, but I have one in my garage, so I'm using that. That's... I, I fear for my life now. Because I know that car. I built one before Max out, just for fun's sake. I know that car can get a stupid amount of power. It's very lightweight. I think I'm going to die. However, I'm hoping it is very quick. I don't know why I'm with tuning. Uh, upgrade, just reset default. I forgot what I built it for, but I built it for something. Um, so we want some nice race tires that shoots up into B. I say it shoots up into B class. Uh, two, three, fives on the front, I guess, are the worst we've had. And two, four, fives on the front are probably the worst we've had. Uh, I want all of the arrow parts we can physically get that. You know, I, I might want the weight because that might give us some more grip. And I, I, how, what? Okay, I'll, I'll do that. It doesn't do anything, so why not? We're gonna need an engine swap. Just put it in. Just put the 4.5 liter V8. Put the twin turbos on it. Because we're going to need all the power we can physically get. Uh, I'm going to want the race transmission just so we don't have crappy gears. Because I know we have crappy gears in this car. Uh, I think it's like about 4 or 5 speed. I don't know. We don't want that. Just put all these parts on. We're going to need it. I built this car at the top of class. We, I know it won't make it the entire way through us one class. So, yeah, we're going to go put all these parts on. Uh... Yeah, I want the roll cage only at 63 pounds. Do I want weight reduction? Why not? Um, and then just shove all of this on as much as humanly possible. I think what gets almost a thousand, I think this engine gets a 4.5 liter. It's up to 700 horsepower. Good God. And turbos at 200 horsepower, 200 horsepower. Well, yeah, at 121. <laughs> Oh dear, oh dear, this is not good, this is not good at all. Can I get another PI? I can't actually get another PI. That is impressive. I'm gonna go for you, because you don't look totally ridiculous. You do, actually. I'm gonna go with you. <laughs> Looks almost like a Hot Wheels point now. Um... I am in fear for my life. 914 horsepower, 615 foot-pounds of torque in a 1,400-pound car with microscopic tires on the rear, essentially. I don't think this is going to go well. Alright, the 166M has to be a 115.145, and for some reason, I doubt that. We all spend second. We all spend in third, minor the throttle. We can actually get the full throttle in fifth gear. Now I'm hoping ugh, that this is nicer than the gasser, because the gasser was by far the worst vehicle we've ever had to drive. Look at the speed! That was such a short acceleration, though. We just. We just blitzed it. Good god. Oh, whoa. Coast it, coast it, a little bit of throttle, a little bit of throttle. Oh no, we're bouncing around, bouncing around, bouncing around. No, no, no. How are we accelerating up that? We were accelerating up the loop. Gonna coast it, gonna coast it for the back end sake. This is a terrifying little car to drive. It's not the worst vehicle around the corners though, amusingly. It's actually not the worst in terms of wheel spin or in terms of 
I slowed it down way too early for that. The brakes aren't the worst, however it does have very little to stop it. it has very little to stop, I should say. Please don't roll over around the corner. How fast are we going? I'm expecting this to be mind-bendingly fast. Yep, there's 230. There's 237 miles an hour until I hit the wall. Oh dear, brakes, 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 brakes. I got it under control. There's a little bit of the wall, but I got it under control. Come on, 183 miles an hour. That's the new fastest speed. This is going to blitz all records for speed. It's ridiculous. And you can't even use... A quarter of the throttle most of the time. It's horrendously difficult to drive when it comes to managing that wheel spin. But, you know, it's just so fast. 202. Wait, 197 almost maintained. 181 cautiously maintained, I should say. It's just so fast, and it's not completely undrivable. Because we're going 120 through there, which sure isn't very good, but... I mean, it's remarkable, considering the ludicrousness of this vehicle. I was thinking it's going to be an absolute death machine. But it's really not. It's not going to challenge the top 10, I don't think. But it's certainly going to give the top 15 a run for their money. I think. Because that was a scruffy run. That was a 120.0. Break early, break early, break early. That was a 237 miles an hour through there. That's incredible speed. Power down. Power down. That's 190 up to the jump. Good God. We're flying an absolute mile, though. Which I'm not sure if, so, if, if that is so good. Carry more speed. Carry more speed. Carry more speed. There we go. And 163 is respectable down there. It's 207 heading up to here. I mean, it's quite nice, actually, considering how awful it is. 184 around there is quite good. The average is around 180. Maybe late 70s, so it is qu quite good considering the lunacy that it is. Is it going to rival anything, really? No, but... I mean, it makes up all of its speed, because I say it makes up all of its speed down here. It's not the worst around the corners. I, I think it's the gasser is still going to be the worst forever. And this, that's a 118.7. That is remarkable from a car of the stats being this lunacy. This, this lunacy, that's English. Oh, oh, can't quite get the throttle down. But with, despite having a wheel spin moment, we still go 187 across that jump. It's remarkable. 175 heading up to here. Just floor it heading up to that jump because, yeah, it is incredibly quick. Oh no, I'm not going to hold it, not going to hold it. Oh, I hold 188 around there. I don't know how I did that. That was on the verge of total catastrophe. And I hit 131 through there. How is this car so good around the corners? It should not be this good. It has, a it has 900 horsepower going to 245s on the rear. How is it this drivable? I will never understand. I mean, that's a 118.5. Sure, it's not record-setting times, but, I mean, considering where I thought this vehicle was going to be, which is at the very bottom of the table, that is remarkable lap time. Now, this last lap, dirty laps, will count. 180 something, it's on a cone to orbit. <laughs> no, don't you dare float away from me, you stupid little car. Don't you dare float away from me. Get the full throttle. Now coast around here. A little bit of throttle input. Maintain that speed. 170 up there is better. 208. That's the best we've ever had. 
We are holding 192 around the corner. Another speed record. It's just absurd, this vehicle. And I managed to get it under control for the slalom bit. 152 in a here. Oh, I hit the wall a little bit, but that is just absurd. And it's not super far down the order. Don't spin that power away. Come on, car. I'm not sure if this one was any better, but good God, is it impressive. That, I think that was marginally, very marginally better. I am very impressed with the Ferrari 166. That is a remarkable vehicle for the power. I am thoroughly impressed by the car. And with a time of 118.516, the Ferrari 166 will get into a phenomenal 29th place. You may think that's not very phenomenal, and truth be told, according to the rest of the table, it isn't. But, it is two tenths of a second faster than the Ford GT, and just a couple, just two, just four one thousandths of a second slower than the Porsche 356. Which, as you remember, was four-wheel drive at the time. Because those were the rules of the series at the time. Had to be four-wheel drive instead of three-wheel drive. So, I think this is the biggest upset besides the C63 in second place we have ever had in the series. It is... It, I, I came in here as soon as I saw that. I thought it's going to be an absolute death trap. I It will be near the Bel Air, the... Regalia, the stuff like that, but no, it is thoroughly impressive. I thought the wheels would spin until sixth gear. I got in fourth gear, but I was good with the throttle, and now I'm going around a corner. Fourth gear got tr traction. Remarkably good car. I'm I'm thoroughly thoroughly impressed. But that is going to be it for this episode of Forza Horizon. We're going to be back with more.